This video is a short preview and disassembly of parts. Those parts will be categorized and to be uploaded in a specific video. This is a Honda EP1800, a generator that utilizes a GX160 engine which is commonly used in lawnmower, grass cutter, go-karts, and more. This is a flooded unit. Everything has been soaked with water or flood. It requires a good cleaning and rebuild to bring it back to life. All parts will be repainted, refurbished, and even the stickers will be duplicated to make it look all new again. Fuel hose is brittle and broken. Here I am trying to drain the fuel. But it appears that the fuel cock or shutoff valve is clogged. So draining is useless. Disconnect every electrical connectors. This one is for the engine switch. This is for the outlet and control board. Remove two screws to gain access inside. Use an 8mm socket. This is an evidence that the unit has been flooded. Pull the socket and remove the ground strap. Push the lock and pull. The front control board has two 10mm bolts. Here are the two bolts. Carefully remove the front control board unit. A quick look around the control board unit. Next is the fuel tank, which are held by two 10mm bolts. Gently remove the fuel tank. Here is the fuel tank. All that is left are the engine, stator, intake, extake, and chassis. I will start by disassembling the intake system. Rusty parts are hard to move. A penetrating oil can help you remove those rusty parts. Grab an 8mm socket to remove those four bolts. The spring of the governor is attached to this hose. And I don't know why.
Use the 10 mm wrench to remove this bolt. These are also 10 mm. This is a carburetor, and it looks hopeless to be reused. The springs should be replaced with a new one too. This handle is for the choke of the carburetor. That is the choke plate. There is the throttle plate. Here is the holder and the drain bolt. Next thing to remove is this flywheel fan housing. There are four bolts to remove. Use a 10 mm socket to remove those bolts. Here are the four bolts with a harness holder that is placed on this spot. This sticker refers to the maximum level of engine oil. The dipstick is located here. Next is the exhaust system. Use a 10mm socket to remove 5 bolts that holds the exhaust heat shield. The muffler also comes with a nasty surprise. Here is a view of the bottom of the generator. Remember to be extra careful when removing rusty parts. It also has chunks of nasty surprises too. In order to gain more space in removing the exhaust pipe, I need to remove the bolts of the engine heat shield. All bolts of the heat shield are 10 mm. Back at the top of the generator. Now the heat shield can be moved freely. For that, we have now more space to work with. But before that, I will remove this muffler first. These are held by two 12mm bolts. And the pipe has 12mm nuts.
After removing the two bolts, the muffler still seems to be solid. I found out that there is one bolt at the back of it. The bracket is attached to the stator. This is a 12mm bolt. Now gently remove the muffler along with the heat shield. Remove the two nuts and the exhaust pipe. Take out the upper engine heat shield completely. Remove this bolt to separate the lower engine heat shield from the engine. This is a 10mm bolt. Last thing to remove is this air intake box bracket. It is held down by a 12mm nut. So these are all the parts that has been removed from the generator. Each of these will have a separate restoration video. Go ahead and check it out. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless.